a show of force from Taiwan. F-16Vs seen here are being armed with missiles for a nighttime military exercise. This is in response to an increase in Chinese military pressure as more ships and planes continue to operate in the Taiwan Strait. We since Taiwan welcomed a visit from U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi early this month, China has been sailing warships around the island and sending fighter jets across the median line of the Taiwan Strait. The line is regarded as an unofficial boundary between the two countries. The tension uh, between the Taiwan Strait is getting higher, and it's obvious in knowing that. And, but that's still what we're training for, and it's what we're preparing for. So they come, and uh, we rise, and so our scramble jet will never stop, and uh, we will stop their uh, offender and in outside our uh, defense identity. Uh, Outside our ADIZ. An ADIZ, or Air Defense Identification Zone, is not a country's airspace, but it's meant to serve as a security buffer. China frequently sends warplanes into this area to put pressure on Taiwan's military. This is a graph of weekly ADIZ incursions from China's People's Liberation Army, or PLA. In 2021, a total of more than 970 warplanes breached Taiwan's ADIZ. And so far in 2022, in around eight months, that number has already topped 900. This spike in October was during Taiwan's National Day, where China sent a record 56 planes into the ADIZ in one day. And this increased activity is in response to Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, which sparked unprecedented Chinese military drills. The drills, which experts say amounted to a blockade of Taiwan, has pushed the island to adjust its defense strategy. If Taiwan were to be cut off, it could face a challenge in importing food and other resources like energy. While China's military exercises are putting unprecedented pressure on Taiwan, the country says that they are using the heightened activity around the territory to try to enhance their defense capabilities as they continue to monitor the situation. Chris Ma and Jaime Ocon for Taiwan Plus.